my chum, Earl Grey, will bring every bit of the action to you. Why, thank you, Sonny. It's a pleasure indeed to be here with you today, covering backyard soccer. Going head-to-head -head in today's game are Las Ocho Maracas and the Mighty Boots. It's been an exciting tournament thus far, but to continue in the astonishingly shiny Cup of All Cups tournament, both these teams will want to do well today. Let's all take a deep breath and dive right into the action. I suggest you take their advice, guys, because I have a feeling this is going to be a war. What's up, everybody? Wupdad here, welcoming you to another installment of the rebirth of Backyard Soccer Rise of the Mighty Boots. Last time, our Mighty Boots got a bit of payback against the team that cemented our elimination from the astonishingly shiny Cup of All Cups World Tournament the first time, the Festive Piratas from Brazil, with a 2 1 win, which wasn't bad. So far, we are sitting at a 2-0 record in tournament play, as uh, Sunny Day pointed out. Apparently, uh, she's being a bit of an unbiased, in or uh, a bit of a uh, biased announcer, I should say, in uh, praising our performance and uh, getting excited for us. Maybe it's because we are representing the uh, Backyard Soccer League in general, which is uh, this game's equivalent of America. But, with a 2-0 record, I do believe my boots pretty much do have a uh, guaranteed advancement into the uh, bracket stage and single elimination part of the Astonishingly Shiny Cup of All Cups tournament. I want to be absolutely sure, though, and I'm still on a bit of a revenge trip. So since we seem to be playing my uh, group schedule from the first time around in reverse order for this time, it would make sense that last but not least on the list would be Los Ocho Maracas. The team that gave me my first loss the last time I attempted this tournament. And the team that has had quite the interesting run so far. They are also 2-0 in group stage play. And they have also won a fair amount of shootouts. By that I mean, I don't mean uh, something akin to, well, penalty kicks. Because we're still in the stage of the tournament where draws actually matter. Well, draws will still come into play. But, they have had some really high-scoring games on both sides, and they've come out of both of them. So, I'm going to see how well my boots fare, as they're going to start with the ball, which worries me already. But, I have Pete Wheeler. And, right now, Pete seems to be the difference maker. Case in point! How's that for a dagger through the heart right out of the gate? Not a good start for Los Ocho Maracas, considering they've had the upper hand during their first couple games. I've got Pablo sitting on the bench right now. I've got the Weber twins and my midfielders. And I've got uh, Amir and Keisha in the backfield. Basically doing everything I can to try to... Whoa! That was a blatant attempt to try to take Pete out. What the heck? Seriously. Um, I was going to say, I don't know what you're doing, Pete, but... um. Yeah, I should have had a feeling that's what was going to happen, but... Basically, I'm stu I've am still got the same... If you guys watched my last video, then you will know that I, I'm kind of running a bit more of a uh, defensive strategy right now. I'm still running the 2-2-1. Two, two, I'm just going to let that sail out. It's going to be a throw-in. I would have preferred a goal kick. But I'm running a bit more of a uh, defensive strategy for the time being, for the simple fact that... Well, so far, the name of the game in against me so thus far has been speed which is where Pete seems to be able to beat everybody oh that that's easy money right there hey where my music go no fair so two over out of the game I'm not, I'm not gonna complain but heck let's try to make it three and oh why not Ah, come on. But yeah, I've been trying to maintain a more defensive strategy for the most part. For the simple fact that... Well, it's basically to cover my bases in the event that I start losing control of things. As a more offensive-oriented strategy worked in dealing with the Magical Dragons. It did not fare so well against the Festive Piranhas, which required the uh, change in my game plan to begin with. 
I know I just kind of randomly cleared it. Well, I'll take that. If you aren't going to do anything offensively with it, I'll just take the throw in and go from there. Doesn't matter to me one bit. As the Maracas go ahead and make a sub. At this point, I think I might actually save my substitutions for halftime or at some point during the second half, potentially. Um, stay with Akisha. Okay. So, the this game is still trying to find new and creative ways to uh, get under my skin. Because I'm pretty sure that should have flown past. I would have accepted it hitting off the post, but it didn't even get to that point. Thank you, Sydney. And we managed to get to halftime unscathed, despite how scary that scenario was starting to get. So, we've got a 2-0 lead so far. And you know what? I'm going to put Jocinda in for Keisha right now. Back on backfield. I'm going to leave Pablo on the bench for now. I'm probably going to have him go in for Pete once Pete starts getting tired. Just to try to maintain some offensive pressure. Because this defensive strategy seems to be working for me so far. And if I can keep... if I can, The longer I can keep it going, uh, the better things are going to be for me. Because Pete seems to be... Well, that was a little inside the goal. Ah, a little too much uh, pep around that one, Pete, when you knocked it away. Yikes! What happened to the piranhas? They gave me a fight. I'm getting, I got more of a fight out of them than I kind of am Los Angeles Maracas at this point. I don't know why I keep adding an S at uh, after Ocho. It's Los Ocho Maracas, not Los Ochos Maracas. Why did I just call it Maracos? This ain't the country of Morocco. These, these guys are from, uh... Mexico. I'll take a Pete Wheeler go regardless, though. I think I'm gonna leave Pete in a little longer. But yeah, he's still firing on all cylinders for right now. He's still got that speed... That, uh... Blazing speed of his going. And... I... Well, it's... It's working... It's at least keeping the ball in their end of the field. Oh, come on! Seriously! That ball... Stop grabbing the ball out of thin air when you have no right to be getting it to that... You don't even jump... Ugh. I'm, I'm done trying to question the intricacies of this game, I guess. Just clear it out, just in... Uh... I don't care what they do with it from here. If they, if they want to blast it back out of bounds again, be my guest. Yep, Pete is definitely getting tired now. That's kind of clear. So you know what my response is going to be to that. If I can get the ball away from these guys. Well, everything went quiet there for a moment. Oh, no, no, no. Jocinda, no. They're going to make a sub. I know it's kind of late in the game, and it might seem irrelevant at this point, but I'm going to go ahead and make a sub, too. I'm going to throw Pablo in there. Just so Pete can get some well-deserved rest. What on earth happened to the Festa Piranhas? I believe they were the other team alongside the Magical Dragons that actually had... No, no, they didn't. Never mind. It was Los Ocho Maracas that advanced last time along with the Magical Dragons, but still... The Piranhas, what happened to them? I mean, this is just sad. Like I said, they gave me a heck of a fight last time, and now this. All right, Amir, or Ahmed. Ah, too far over. Ah, oh, well, it's fine. Because Pablo's in now, and... Oh, yeah, Pablo's ready to go. Case in point! Go ahead and keep our three-goal lead, because why not? Pablo hasn't d done anything in a little while, and I think it was high time we fixed that. Pa Pablo wouldn't mind, uh... Some payback on his fellow countrymen, I suppose. And that's going to work as well! 
So, not to be outdone, Pablo Sanchez with two goals on the board in a uh, pretty short amount of time. And I was going to say, can we make it three, but nah. But I'll take it. Not exactly a shootout. It was kind of the same result I got uh, with the Magical Dragons, but I'll take it. A 3-0 run in the group stage for my Mighty Boots this time around. Much, much, much better than what happened the last time. I will gladly take that. So, this time the project continues. Qualify for the next stage, the Boots and Maracas. That is just plain ridiculous. I'm not going to lie. That is just... Wow. I mean, my 12 goals looks impressive compared to... Three goals, only three goals against me, but still. Look at these numbers. Alright, so let's see who all else advanced on. For Group A, of course, it's my Mighty Boots and Los Ocho Maracas. In Group B, it's the Pandas and the Tigers. Do not remember off the top of my head what country those two teams come country those two teams come from. I think the Tigers is Aus I wanna say the Tigers is Australia, but not sure about the pandas. Group C, it's the Pot of Goals and the Zeppelins. I do not remember what their initial one was. I know the old goals are from Ireland. The Zeppelins are Germany. Yikes! I was just look at this! That's a bit scary. And in Group D, it is going to be uh, the Toritos and the Tsunamis. I know the uh, Origami Tsunamis are from Japan. The, the Toritos, I believe, are from uh, Spain. I not remember off the top of my head where they're or uh, what their uh, first thing is. It looks like the Pandas were the only other one that went unbeaten. So I'm gonna back out to the team bench. Go back into schedule and. So this is what our tournament looks looks like. There is our prize awaiting at the end. The astonishingly shiny cup of all cups. On one end, we have the pot of goals from Ireland. And the feisty tigers who look like they're from South Korea. They'll be facing off Los Ocho Maracas. It says Los, not Los this time. Interesting. From Mexico, of course, we'll be playing Los Toritos from uh, Spain. That's an interesting clash. Mexico and Spain going at it. On the other end of the bracket, we have the Flying Zeppelins from Germany and the Fancy Pandas from China. And my money boots representing the BSL slash America. Next time on Backyard Soccer Rise of the Money Boots, we will be contending with Japan's Origami Tsunamis as we begin... The elimination stage of the tournament. Where one loss could cause me a whole lot of heartbreak all over again. Here's the hoping that is not the case. I've been Rup Dad. Thank you guys so very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.